Manly looking ass hair. Like that, that's her fucking page. That's crazy. Fucking bony ass. Shit fucking man. Yeah, I'm here. Just join the party, bitch. I don't know what you're saying, why you're saying it, but ho, oh, you better find something better to do, bitch. You had a whoop at school, but you get that ass whoop. You get that ass whoop on that show coming about that show, bitch. Stop playing with me, bitch. Stop fucking playing with me, bitch. Suck the shit out, you bitch. Yeah, I'm here. Just join the party, bitch. I don't know what you're saying. My only thing is this, like, why Wendy Williams don't ever want to talk about how she ate pussy? That's my only thing. Bitch, play with me. <laughs> my only thing is this, like, why Wendy Williams don't ever want to talk about how she ate Black China? That's my only thing. Bitch, play with me. <laughs> my only thing is... Hey guys, welcome to my channel. It's Nikki Free. If you have not done so already, make sure you subscribe to my channel. I am trying to get to 10K. Also, make sure you hit that thumbs up or thumbs down button on your way out just to let me know what you thought about the video and if you want to make a comment you can feel free to do so below and I will get back to you all right so let's get right into the video Wendy Williams first of all let me just say I am going to give Wendy Williams some props in this video because I feel like Wendy has been listening and she is improving on a couple of things but let me first start off by saying Wendy Williams is going head to head, or I shouldn't say head to head because she didn't see this tornado coming, but Wendy Williams opened up a can of worms and I don't really think she knew what was going to happen when she said what she said. Wendy, did you Google Tommy before you came out on your purple chair and sat down and did this commentary? Or did you just get the information from Norman and you just read it off the prompter and you didn't really know who Tommy was? Keep it real, Wendy. Did you check out who Tommy was? Because Tommy, one thing about Tommy, she's about that life. And you have met your match with Tommy. Tommy is about that life. She's not playing no games. And she is not here for what you said about her, Wendy. Now, Tommy is upset because Wendy, today on the show, posted her 30 mug shots and essentially said that Rob Kardashian can do a lot better than someone like Tommy. And she went into detail saying that, you know, he allegedly is supposed to be dating Tommy. And then also he's allegedly supposed to be dating uh, Alexis Skye. And also that he dated Black China in the past. And she was bas basically insinuating that he dates the same type of women and he needs to do better. So he was, she was kind of throwing shade at her girl Black China too. So I don't know, but... Anyway, basically, Wendy was going at Tommy. She also made the comment, what a difference makeup and hair makes. Because Tommy in her mug shots, according to Wendy, look a lot different than she does, you know, on the picture. She had a picture of Tommy up that was she was all dolled up and everything. And she was saying how different, you know, people look without their wigs and makeup. Well, you know what, Wendy? I'm sure you look a lot different without your wig and your makeup as well. I mean, a lot of people look a lot different without makeup and a wig, you know, and I, I mean, it just is what it is, you know, but I get where she's going. She's saying that basically Rob, her thing was that Rob needs to do better. Rob is not doing a good job in picking women and he's picking these same type of kind of Instagram model women. Fast forward, Tommy comes out and she comes for Wendy's neck. She has posted several photos of Wendy, like comparing her body to Wendy's body. She also has come out and gave a PSA to Wendy, letting Wendy know that she will pull up to the studio. That's what she said. She said she will pull up to Wendy's job and take care of her, if you know what I mean. So Tommy is not playing any games with Wendy. I don't know where this is all going. I think basically what's going to happen is Tommy is probably going to continue to troll Wendy for a bit. And then this will blow over because I doubt very seriously if Wendy will even 
entertain this if you know what I mean I don't think Wendy will entertain this I think Wendy will just ignore it just as she does when other people say negative things about her so it kind of is what it is but I just found it very funny and I, I just found it very interesting how Tommy responded to Wendy but I think that's kind of typical Tommy she's not really gonna let anyone come for her neck and Tommy did not confirm or deny if she were dating Rob Kardashian she just most like she just mostly just shot down shot down Wendy and talked crap about Wendy's looks and which that's another thing with Wendy I understand like Wendy goes hard but man people go so hard on her looks I mean damn that got to affect Wendy because when you think about it, so many people go in on her and her looks. I mean, really, really go in on her. But it's neither here nor there. That's part of the job, I guess, when you talk crap about people. It is what it is. Anyway, moving right along. My thing about Wendy where I wanted to give her props is that Wendy actually is getting a little bit better with her bias. I did a video about it. I felt like Wendy was being way too biased and her show was becoming a little bit too like lukewarm because I felt like she didn't want to step on the toes of so many different celebrities that she had befriended in her new life. And it just was getting to the point where her show was just kind of like, uh, come on, Wendy. But now I'm noticing that Wendy actually, actually is doing a lot better. Today she actually reported on Black China on back rent at her house that she was renting. She owed like I believe seventy two thousand uh, was it seventy two thousand dollars, and because she didn't pay her rent for a few months, and she allegedly supposed allegedly got evicted. She didn't answer the lawsuit. Wendy actually reported on this, so that was great. And also, Black China, what's going on with you? It's like, you make $72,000 on Instagram in a day, right? Or something like that crazy. I know Black China makes a lot of money on endorsements on Instagram. And plus, she does other things. So it's really odd that she's not able to pay her rent. So I don't know what's going on with Black China. That's really not my concern my thing is Wendy thank you so much for actually reporting on celebrities and actually doing your job in the way we are used to seeing it I was really impressed with the show today and how you just called it out I love your uh, humming to Jessica Simpson saying that she is mm, mm, mm. a lot of things went through my mind when you were humming and I love that because that means that you're back to the shady Wendy that we all love or most of us love, you know. I'm always going to give Wendy her respect. I mean, she is the pioneer of all of this, and she is talented. She does her job. And a lot of celebrities get on to her, but honestly, her job is celebrity gossip. Like, if she doesn't report on the celebrity, she's going to be up out of here. She's not even going to have a job. So I think she would probably want to do her job as opposed to worry about the celebrities being upset with what she's reporting on. And this is why Wendy, Wendy has to go back to her old life in the sense of not befriending the celebrities. Wendy, let these damn celebrities go and make some regular friends because doing what you're doing and being friends with the celebrities, it just doesn't work. It's, not, it's never going to work. You're never going to put out the quality of work that's going to keep people watching you if you tiptoe around certain celebrities. We want you to keep the same energy for all of the celebrities. And you know what, Wendy? Again, I'm going to give you your props because I think you are listening to what people are saying and I think you are getting back to that, Wendy. And it's very refreshing. So kudos to you, Wendy. But you know what, Tommy, whoo, that's a tough one. I I don't know what you're going to do about Tommy. Tommy, that's that's tough. But Wendy has thick skin. I don't think Wendy, Wendy's used to it. Wendy's been up against some heavy hitters in the past. Now that I think about it, 50 cents, Puffy. Yeah, she's been up against some heavy hitters that went in on her. So I think Wendy will be okay. I think she'll be able to handle this. But Tommy, she's probably not going to stop anytime soon. We'll see how that all goes. Anyways, guys, 
Let me know what you think about this video below. Uh, what do you think about Wendy? Do you think she's getting better on her reporting? Are you watching? Do you even watch Wendy? Also, what do you think about Tommy? Do you think Tommy was right to come for Nick Wendy's neck? Or do you think Tommy should have just let it go? Because Wendy is actually just doing her job and Wendy technically drags pretty much everybody. I don't know. What do you guys think? Comment below and let me know your thoughts. Don't forget to share the video, like or dislike, and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. Peace.